my husband was talking to somebody yesterday at dinner, and um, and he said, well, what do you see uh, as a safety net for our families and our children going down the road? And the guy said, if I could do it over again, I would become a farmer. And I found that very, very interesting because what the guy was basically saying to my husband, we have some farmland upstate actually, is that when you have farmland, you're always going to have food, you're always going to have something to do for sure, and you're always going to have something that's going to be worthwhile and not go down in value. And agritourism in New York State took a major nosedive when family farms started to disappear. And during the 12 years that my husband was in office, we lost family farms in the hundreds. And one of his big things is we need to protect our farms. So that's a big, broad real estate picture. But one of the things that he wanted to protect was the family farms. He gave them all kinds of tax write-offs and exemptions. Now we have this amazing phenomenon that is the Chobani yogurt plant that has come into New York State that is over in Norwich, over in the western tier, that has given such a shot in the arm to dairy farming uh, and just the number of cows that it takes to make a pot of yogurt. So we've had a great revitalization of agribusiness in New York State. Now, agritourism is something that I'm sort of watching as well because agritourism is bringing into play so many other things that are going on besides the fact that people really want to have good, safe, local food. You have the farm-to-table movement that's really going crazy. You have so many restaurants that want local food. As a result, you have farms that are coming up out of, you know, sort of uh, farms that are becoming study centers, such as Glenwood in Putnam County is a really big research operation that not only wants to protect the historic heritage aspects of farming, such as shearing sheep and bringing in crops and making your own maple syrup, that sort of thing. But they're also looking to protect farming from the standpoint of environmentally sound, safe, healthy, local food.